Pause the video now, guys, and try question number one for solving trig equations for your upcoming papers one and papers two for A level maths key exam next week and the week after. Okay, so pause the video, give it a go, and then come back and press play when you're ready. Okay, question number one it says solve between zero less than or equal to x less than 180. The equation cos 2x plus 15 is equal to 0 0.3. Give your answer to one decimal place. Okay, step one is to rearrange this equation to make it x equals, guys. So x equals. So step one, I'm going to take inverse cos of both sides. So I'm going to have 2x plus 15 is equal to cos to the minus 1 of 0 0.3 or arc cos 0 0.3, whichever you were taught in school or college or sixth form. Okay, arc cos is the same as saying cos inverse or cos to the power minus 1. Okay. Or oh, cos to the minus 1, I should say. Okay. I would then obviously subtract 15 and then divide it by 2. So I'm going to have x equals a half bracket cos inverse, so cos minus 1 or cos to the minus 1 of 0 0.3 or 3 tenths. Okay subtract 15 okay so this is obviously a, i'm laying it out like this clearly guys deliberately so when we enter it into our calculators okay we'll get an answer okay when i do that i get the answer of 28.77 okay to 1 dp okay obviously i'll land it here at the end okay but i'm trying to obviously, uh, avoid truncating it at this early stage now what's my next step well i've got cos 2x here now what does 2x transform my cos graph too so this actually makes the period okay it, it actually shrinks the graph actually so it, so it actually shrinks okay so a cos graph looks normally like this sorry about, about my okay it actually so it actually doubles the shears so it actually looks like this okay so it ends up looking like this so it actually doubles okay so keep that in mind okay so and, and it's obviously moving here, 15 inches here to the left. Okay. Okay. So it's been transformed here. So, yeah. So the period is now 180. So it repeats every 180 degrees. Okay. Now, if you think about initially on my graph, okay, here would obviously be 28.8. If I go across, okay, go across. Okay, I would normally do 360 plus 28.8, but the period is now 180. Okay, so I'm actually going to be doing 180 subtract, okay, 28.87 rather than add it, okay, because of the cos 2x, okay, because it has a period of 180 degrees or pi radians, okay. But we're doing it in degrees here for purposes of the purpose of this video. Okay, but remember here yeah, that pi radians is equivalent to i.e the same as 180 degrees okay when i do this yeah i get 136 okay that'll be 28.8 isn't it when i round it okay so 28.8 when i round it so i do this on my calculator I get 136.2, and therefore, guys, my two solutions, okay, between 180 and 0 is, is going to be 136.2 and 28.8 to one decimal place, okay? Always check that you're in the range that, that is asked for, and obviously, always round your answer to the appropriate degree of accuracy, okay? Normally, I avoid rounding up at the beginning, just to obviously avoid like more rounding errors. Okay, so that's like another bit of advice here or tip. Okay, but that's how we do it. Okay, so the period has now become yeah, obviously half of it. Okay, because cos two x means that the the graph has been like squished here, like um, by a half. Okay, so essentially it crosses the x axis. Okay. 
twice as much more between zero and 360 as it did between, between zero and 360 for normal cortics. Okay, but this is the Desmos Gravashia that obviously I did earlier. Okay, on the okay, but this is your graphical okay solution. Okay, which, which might be like a better drawing. Okay, but that guys is going to be my answer to that problem. Okay, so the last part I should mention here is revised obviously here. So obviously, revised obviously here, like graph transformation here. So obviously, here, if it's remember here, if it's cos 2x, then the period obviously halves. If it's cos of a half x, then the period actually doubles, okay, so on and so forth. Okay, but practice that actually, and, and, and I'm going to sketch your cos sign or tan graph okay but yeah this is quite an important topic so please please revise this topic try the questions on Max Genie actually yeah. so I got these questions here from Max Genie okay or Max Made Easy or Physics and Max Tutor okay but practice the exam questions for solving trig equations because I'm almost certain it is going to come up this year as like a chunky mark question in the exam whether it's your papers one papers two even paper three okay but revise that okay thanks for watching take care all the best